In this video, we're going to complete example one. And in question A, it's asking us to write the following expressions in index form. So looking at part I, I've got three times three times three times three times three. I notice there are five threes. So I'm going to write my base number down, which is three. And because I have five of them, I'm going to put it to the power of five. Now moving on to the second part of question A, you'll notice we've got quite a few different numbers here. We've got fives, we've got sevens, and we've got one, two. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to write each one down. So two, five, and seven. I'm going to write them down just once, and I'm going to put times between them. Now, you'll notice that we've got one, two, three, four, five. So we're going to give the five a power of four to say that there's four of them. And we've got two sevens, so we're going to give that a power of two. And we only have one, two. So we're just going to give it a power of one. And, and that's how you write questions like that in index form. Now let's move on to question B. This time it wants you to expand the following expressions, which basically means to write them in expanded form. We're basically doing the reverse of what we did in question A. So in the first part, we've got 2 to the power of 3 times 6 to the power of 2. How do we do that? Well, that means we've got three twos. So 2 times 2 times 2. And we have two sixes times 6 times 6. Should be putting equal signs in front of my answers. In the second part of B, you'll notice that we've got three sevens. So 7 times 7 times 7. I've only got one three. And I've got four fours. Two, three, four. That concludes our video on example one. Remember to read the description below for links to worksheets related to this video.